Alright, so this question is check if words equal summation of two words. So, alright, this is the concept. So you want to return to if the summation of the numeric value of the first word and the second word are equal to the target. So first word is AB, uh, ACB and then second word is CBA. So ACB is going to be represented zero. ASCII table zero, two, one, and uh, you become 21. CBA equal to 210. You add this value together, you get 231. So the idea is pretty straightforward. You convert all of the, you know, uh, let's look at the constraint. So the constraint is what? Uh, from letter A to J in no case, right? Alright, so it's not hard. Just uh, look at the chart, look at the chart in the stream, subtract, uh, subtract by lay, uh, character A and you will solve from zero and then this is pretty much right so let's stop for this so I need a helper so pop the in I'm gonna say get uh, get in string word and then I'm gonna say in result equal to zero return result and then traversing for in i equal to zero i less than um word start length and i plus plus right and then result plus equal um actually it's not plus equal you need to you need to what so you're starting from here right and then when you get to here you need to multi multiply it by 10 right and in this one you want to be the last one and then you want to shift uh here is it so you starting a so result equal to zero because a equal to zero and then you are at c c equal to what two c equal to two c equal to two so the result become what two and then you have b b equal to one and then you want to say two times ten plus one right so Let's see, so it's going to be equal result multi multiplied by 10 plus the current char word dot char come on, at a i subtract by a, right? This will get get you the, I mean, get your int, right? And then you want to say return get int you want to say the first word and the second word to the target, right? So it's gonna be, it's gonna be get in target equal get in first word plus get in second word. Uh, okay. Look at the parentheses right here and submit. Okay. So the Time, so there's only time, there's no space. Space is, is constant. Time is what? This guy, this guy, and this guy. So it will be this guy, right? So what is the worst case? It's the maximum then of these three, right? Normally it's going to be all of T because because the target word can be what? Um, look at this. Oh, okay, never mind. So uh, imagine in this case. J J J and then you know you, you add in J J J J equal so this is added and I don't know what does J J J equal to but it's gonna be what um J so the last digit is gonna be what J times two mod by ten and this is gonna be what I mean I don't know whatever but it's definitely more than no uh, more than four digit uh, uh, more than three digit. A B C D E F G H I J. Oh, J is ten. J is ten. So, uh, J J J ten ten ten. So it's thousands, thousands plus thousands, two thousands. Oh, so the digits are going to be the same. But what happens if a constraint does not does not only contains A to J, probably A to Z, right? You will have to um, find out the worst case. So I'm so I'm saying that the target word should be a the worst case but let's optimize this this code because I can actually get this right away right 
I only need a character. I don't need to worry about the index. So it's going to be what? Plus C minus A. Submit. Alright, so it's still the same. Time and space are the same. This is uh, more read readable for sure. And if you still have questions, leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.